Today I want to talk about some things I don't really want to talk about, but they need to be talked about. Opinions that I have about where the economy's going, how it's going to affect fast food. Talk about this stuff too, so stay tuned. Before you just prejudge what I'm saying, hear me out. I don't listen to mainstream media news as far as where I get my of thought, so to say. I, I've always followed Robert Kiyosaki. He's a real estate investor. He owns billions of dollars worth of property. He owns silver mines. And I followed him for 20 years. I myself have owned rental property for 20 years. So I always keep up with the state of the real estate market. And it usually tells a lot of things about the economy and where everything else is going. If you look at a few other things. Robert Kiyosaki recently put a video on his channel with a really good economist that really knows his stuff. And I'll put a link to that video in, in my comments or in the description. And you can go check it out for yourself. Uh, he'd been saying this for a couple of months, but due to where the interest rate is, the feds are talking about lowering the interest rate, which usually affects jobs. So there's going to be, you know, more unemployment. And it's no secret that we're paying triple for groceries and everything else right now, right? So when people went out and bought houses during the thing, you know, uh, don't want to say that on here, but when that happened, people was wanting to get outdoors. They went and bought new boats and they relocated and all this stuff and the price of goods just keeps going up and i don't see that going back down they're making the money they're probably not going to lower the prices fuel is one of those things that goes up and down gas prices you know so that that may drop but right now we're paying high gas prices but people went out and bought a house at a very peak price and the interest rate has went up so refi is not an option and the price of goods have went up. So they didn't expect the price of the goods to go up that much and it's affecting how much they're paying out per month. So I don't think people are going to be able to sustain the house payments of the places that they bought. Finally, after a while, I've been saying it for a long time, the uh, real estate market, they're actually starting to show now there's a downtrend and probably is going to be a downtrend. And, you know, like I said, it's no secret that we're in the worst economy than we've been in in many, 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 many years. So if you end up with a lot of problems trying to pay your house payment, usually entertainment things like bass fishing, but people are gonna let go of the bass boat. People are gonna stop entering tournaments, you know, and you, you could say maybe, hey, you know, there's plenty of people out here that'll fill the fields, you know, people got enough money to do that and live on their own expenses. You know, hey, everybody's situation's different. You may think I'm wrong. Hopefully I am. But this is what I foresee for the next several years. I foresee it really crippling the fishing industry as a whole and bass fishing tournaments. Let's just call it what it is. You know, you go enter a tournament, you're gambling. You know, it's something you don't have to do unless you're a full-time pro. And there's not that many out here, really. In the grand scheme of things, across the whole bass fishing tournament scene, there's really not that many. Now, if these companies start taking a hit, they may start cutting back on sponsorships. There's just a lot of things that could really change, and that's that's where I'm seeing it going over the next several years. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Just something I think that you should pay attention to. You know, go look at actual stock data over a period of year, how things were versus what we're paying now. And, you know, there's a lot of analysts out here that are doing this. I'm not going to do it with it enough to where I feel pretty confident making this video and coming out with it. If you think I'm wrong, that's that's fine. I wish the best for the bass fishing industry, the tournament trails that are out there, all the pros. Love watching them. I love going and fishing them myself. But people do have to end up cutting costs. Companies will cut costs. You just need to really think about those things and where you're going to position yourself, how you're going to go forward as things change. Do your own research. You may think that I'm completely wrong, that that's not where everything's going. Oh, it'll be fine. You know, you if that's your opinion on it, that's fine. Drop a comment in the bottom. Let me know what you think. So you think I'm wrong? Hey, that's fine. We can be friends and we can talk about stuff cordially, whatever. I don't involve politics, even though it does have a reflection of how the economy goes. But I, I try to stay away from all that. It's going to be what it is business-wise. No matter who's in office, companies still have their own profit margins set aside and if they decide to cut spending here, cut spending here, cut spending here, 
it could have a huge effect on the, on the fishing industry, and I believe that's what's going to happen. So, okay, so I've been behind on giveaways sponsored by J Bros and Baitworks. I've had a lot going on, but here's what you can do to enter the giveaway: drop a hashtag Winter Tackle all together in the comments to be entered. I will pick two winners out of this huge box, so you're going to get a lot of tackle. And hopefully, diehard anglers can help to offset those costs for the fishing industry and the anglers to make it more efficient for people and bring, bring the price down on what we all love to do. And I didn't just make this video because of diehard anglers. It's because I, I'm a businessman. I own rental property. I've owned rental property for 20 years. I keep my eye on things, and I just want to encourage you guys to keep your eyes on things. Again, do your own research. Let me know what you think. Turn that notification bell to off.